Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have CWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWW
and then nothing on resolution, and then activate tracked, add lurry, discard lurry, and then lurry effect to special summon itself out. Uh, in response, the opponent could chain ball drake <clears throat> to try to go ahead and banish the lurry to try to keep him off the fiendsmith stuff, uh, which I don't think would be bad. Yeah, I don't think that'd be bad. Lurry effect, and then never mind oh, okay no they are thinking on it if they want to go ahead and try to stop it yep activate ball drake target lurry and then in response chain phantom the u-bell sure so go ahead destroy spirit of u-bell from the deck and then summon out lurry and then we can get spirit of u-bell effect to go special out from the deck and then they're thinking in response um they could go chain promethean princess target hita plus lurry chain ip make sp and then We'll be able to go SP to banish the U-Bell that they summon off Spirit of U-Bell. And then this will be popped by Promethean Princess. And we still have SP's other effect plus Mourner. Uh, that doesn't seem bad to me at all. So yeah, they're going to go Promethean Princess, pop Hita plus Lurie, and then chain IP in response. Go ahead, summon out the SP, banish Lurie. I mean, destroy Lurie, summon out Promethean Princess, and then they get to summon U-Bell. And now we get SP to banish the U-Bell. Uh, so go ahead and never mind. We're actually gonna out the engraver graveyard effect. Um, actually, that's probably what we are supposed to hit, right? Not the lurry. I mean, not the U bell, but probably hit engraver to take that out of commission, because otherwise that could beat over the SP. Okay, okay. Um, they do have normal summon still, which shouldn't do too much. Uh, they're gonna go ahead and put back uh, Spirit of U-Bell plus U-Bell, summon out Phantom of U-Bell, and then just pass turn, they draw Bestial Magma Mutt. Wow, they've drawn a lot of Bestials this game. Um, but, okay, let's see. They're gonna go activate Promethean Princess, then chain the Phantom of U-Bell to go ahead and stop that. And then Phantom of U-Bell effect, you know, is gonna destroy Spirit of U-Bell, and then Spirit of U-Bell effect is gonna go ahead and bring out the U-Bell that's fine, so just, you know, a body that's, like, a little bit hard to out, and then a couple hand traps behind it uh, to try to protect ourselves here. Um, they don't have original Sinful Spoil Engraver. They don't have any Snake Eyes in hand. The Promethean Princess, that was their follow-up, just got stopped. So now we're going to Tribute Summon for Bestial Ball Drake. Okay. And then, is that it? We're just going to link off in the Moon of the Closed Heaven and then go up into Requiem. Requiem effect. Uh, they do have Ash, but they already have Engraver in the grave. Uh, so yeah, they are not going to do anything to try to prevent that. But it does make you think maybe Alex played their turn last turn wrong. Because if we like we went Lacrima, shuffle back, burn for 12, and then we banished Lacrima for Jurus Worm, knowing that we're going to leave no other Light Fiends in Graveyard for the Engraver... So maybe we should have just not used Lacrima effect. We'd still have one engraved. Then we can shuffle back, special, and then, you know, make Requiem, get rid of it, bring out another engraver, effect to equip, effect, go ahead, send the U-Bell. Uh, like, maybe we could have done something like that. Uh, but now we had to, like, you know, commit more. Uh, engraver effect, shuffle back, special summon out. Sure, that's fine. Uh, what summon is this? One, two, three, four four five yeah we're on summon five already okay uh so they're gonna bring out the other engraver and then they're thinking here if they want to drop nib which they do so drop that pass over the token to the opponent and then they're gonna go nightmare throne uh because it left the field by card effect so we're gonna go ahead and bring out never mind never mind we're not gonna bring out anything we're just gonna put back phantom of u-bell which I think a lot of people actually do forget that this can also add back. Because I feel like it does come up a decent amount where you actually just want to put back a Phantom of U-Bell over summoning Terra Incarnate. So I think that was probably like the correct thing to do there was just put back Phantom of U-Bell since we only play two of it. Uh, then they're going to go Bestial Magma Mutt, Banish Spirit of U-Bell, Special Effect to Search during the End Phase. <clears throat> and then from here... Uh, they're just going to go end phase, grab Baldrake from the deck to the hand. So they do play multiple Baldrake in the deck. And then pass. Uh, they draw into Samsara D Lotus. That's a good draw. Normal summon, effect, tribute. And then bring out the Spirit of U-Bell. And then Spirit of U-Bell effect. They Mourner that to shut that down. 
And then looks like they're thinking here if they want a ball drake banish. Yeah, they do go ahead and activate ball drake, banish U Bell, special summon out. Um That was probably a misplay though, right? Uh, I'm trying to think. <clears throat> Cause it's kinda weird. Uh but I think that had to have been a misplay. Cause now they can go battle. Yeah, and they just beat over. And now you have no interruptions against Fiendsmith combo. Yeah, so I think we just had to hold it. Like, we didn't have a choice. Uh, so now they're going to go for Requiem. Requiem effect. Yeah, now they have to admit defeat. Yeah, that was just bad. Bad looks on Alex's part. Uh, now, game two, Snake Eye will go first. We got Chaos Summoning Beast, Nightmare Throne, Jurusworm, Samsara D, Lotus, and Droplet. They have Mourner, Bonfire, Imperm, Bestial, Magma Mutt, and Crossout. So... Activate Bonfire, go for Sneak Eye Ash, and then Normal Summon Effect, and it's pretty much just going to be a copy of what we did last game. Uh, so Sneak Eye Ash, Poplar, Divine Temple, sure. I guess I'll just fast forward a little bit through this, because we just went through the same exact combo. Uh, send, bring out Oak, Effect Special back out, make Moon, Poplar, Spell Trap Zone, make Requiem, bring out, Requiem Effect to equip. Oak effects send, bring out Flame Bird, special pushback. And I guess here's where I'll stop the fast forward. Um, but there's going to go Lacrima, add back, and then effect, go for Tract and the Lurie. Um, but okay, they do try to Druus Worm, the Engraver, and then they're going to chain Cross Out, calling Druus Worm. They said Sheesh, but yeah, they play Cross Out for Old Abyss Steals. Um, so they were definitely prepared for that. So add back engraver and then engraver effect, discard, go for the tract, and then we can go tract into Lurry. But at least, you know, if your Jerusalem gets crossed out, it's not like Imperm got crossed out. Like, you still have Jerusalem for next turn at least. Uh, so add Lurry, discard Lurry, special Lurry, and then Lurry into an anima. Okay, okay, so this time not making the IP Mascarena first, like they did last time, uh, cause they want to play around Nib better which I can, you know, very much respect. Uh, Selene effect, gain counters, effect, lose counters, summon back out the Snake Eye Dive All Star. Sure. And then we can just link off, summon out the Appaloosa. Okay, and then Engraver effect. Uh, put back Lurie, special summon out. Overlay, go for Beatrice. Yeah, I was going to say, we're, not, we're definitely not doing Desiree with how we did this, though. Um, but that's fine, as long as we play Angel of Blue Tears, we should just win the game anyways. Uh, Beatrice, go ahead, dump Angel of Blue Tears, and then link off in the IP, and now we can get Flame Burge, Lacrima, so put back, burn for 12, Flame Burge, summon out Snake Eye, Ash plus Poplar, and then Angel of Blue Tears, banish, go ahead, set DDG, uh, which this card's just FTK, uh, make Promethean Princess, and then Promethean Princess, summon out Flame Burge, Flame Burge, Spell Trap Zone IP, make Nightmare Phoenix to protect the Apo plus the future SP, and then set imperm. Also, personally, I prefer comboing if you're going to do the combo like this to combo on the other side of the field. So that way you have Apo here, Nightmare Phoenix here, SP here. So that way your SP actually points over to this zone. Uh, because if you do it the other way, then, you know, your SP is going to be here. It doesn't really matter too much. But, you know, the little things, little things. Uh, they're going to go main phase, activate Nightmare Throne. They said effect question mark. Yes. Well, that is not how field spells work. You do not declare effect on a field spell like when this card's activated. It's the same thing as like magical meltdown. Yes, you can ash a magical meltdown even if they have all three Alistair already in hand. Because you don't declare if you're searching or not. It just happens. Um, but a lot of people don't know that. But they get DDG chained in response, so they're going to search out U Bell. And then put back U Bell plus the Chaos Summoning Beast to bring out the Phantom of U Bell. Sure. Activate Divine Temple, summon out IP. And then Normal Summon Samsara D Lotus. On Summon, they're thinking if they wanted to do anything, but nope. And now they're just going to go Samsara D Lotus. They said, sure. Bring out a Spirit of U Bell, Spirit of U Bell effect. And then in response, we're going to Mourner that. Then they're going to chain Phantom of U-Bell. Then we're going to chain Apo. They chain Droplet, sending Nightmare Throne. And then, I was going to say, I guess they could chain Imperm to still shut down the Spirit of U-Bell. Um, but nope, they're going to let that go through. So they're going to go ahead and destroy Spirit of U-Bell and search Nightmare Pain. 
And then uh, Spirit of U-Bell effect will activate to go ahead and bring out U-Bell from the deck. Sure. Uh, but this doesn't seem like it's going to be enough. The opponent still has Promethean Princess, Imperm, uh, IP, the Apo got hit with Droplets. That's not doing anything. Um, but now they're going to go activate Nightmare Pain. Then they're uh, thinking on activation. We will go activate IP Mascarena. Uh, to go ahead and bring out the SP and then activate SP effect to go banish Nightmare Pain. Obviously, we don't want to link off Flame Bridge because it's going to get banished. So, we, we want this to survive here. Uh, but now they're going to overlay, make the rank 10, and then Promethean Princess, pop Nightmare Phoenix plus rank 10. They chain to negate, and then we can chain Imperm to stop that. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I was going to say otherwise, they're going to start outing way too many cards. Um, but I guess we could have also just chained SP. I guess we didn't have to imperm, right? We could have just chained SP to banish. Because this will only pop. It says negate the activation, then you can attach one from this, then destroy a card on the field. But they can't detach if it's banished and has no materials. So we could have just SP'd and then hold imperm uh, for like the last play. Um, because oh yeah and they also are going to get this effect now which we could have stopped because now they can still pop flame bridge but i guess now we chain sp in response to that but i guess wait this doesn't activate though so i was gonna say yeah if we chain sp banish like princess plus flame bridge i guess they still just get to pop temple because they can't pop sp because it's made with ip uh so yeah chain pop princess plus flame bridge and then uh, they still get the pop. It doesn't target or anything. Looks like they don't know that, though. They're going to go Banish Engraver, Summon out Druus Worm, then Battle, Feed Over, and then go Main Phase 2, Shuffle Back. And those got those went to the graveyard. Those didn't get banished because they were XYZ materials, so they weren't, like, monsters at the time. Um, but they said during Battle Phase, I actually want to Bestial the Spirit of U-Bell, Special Summon Out. And then effect a search and end phase. And then, yeah, it's just game. They're going to have so much follow-up. Uh, yeah, search out Baldrick. Bring out Princess Flame Bridge. They could just start the turn with Flame Bridge, Spell Trap, Druus. And then, yeah, just say battle. Um, I guess you want to play around a Spirit of U-Bell in hand. Uh, if you want to. Yeah. I guess if we want to try to, we could play around Spirit of U-Bell in hand a little bit. Um, but even if they have it, then we still just win the game. So, yeah, okay. Uh, I was going to say, we wouldn't win the game, like, through battle that turn. But we'd win the game, like, anyways. Because they wouldn't have anything. Uh, but on the game three, we got Nib, Chaos Summoning Beast, Shavara, Samsara D. Lotus, and Warlords. They have Nib, Black Witch, Bonfire, Snake Eye, Ash, Wanted. Okay, well, Warlords is a really good card. Uh, Samsara D. Lotus into Spirit of U-Bell, Spirit of U-Bell and the Nightmare Pain. And then activate Nightmare Pain, destroy Spirit of U-Bell, search out Gruesome Grave, and then Spirit of U-Bell effect, special summon out the U-Bell, and then Gruesome Grave, special summon out, pop Spirit, I mean not pop Spirit of U-Bell, but pop U-Bell, and then U-Bell to bring out Terran Incarnate. Uh, we could shuffle back, actually I don't think we'll shuffle back here, but they're going to activate Nib, because uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, so go ahead, drop that, pass over the token, uh, sure, interesting token, uh, then go ahead, shuffle back to bring out the Phantom of U-Bell, and then here, we're gonna go Gruesome Grave, banish, summon out Spirit of U-Bell, and then activate Shavara, pop Spirit of U-Bell, special summon out, Spirit of U-Bell, bring out U-Bell, that's fine, uh, now link off, go into Luna Closed Heaven, Shavara effect, go set Chamber, and then go into Requiem, and then Requiem effect, bring out Engraver, we could Requiem effect to equip, and go ahead and try to send Nib, uh, just get rid of that, uh, but instead we're just going to go for Sequence, okay, so leaves Nib on their field, uh, Sequence effect to go ahead, shuffle back, three, and then bring out the Desiree, uh, Sequence effect to equip, Set Warlords Pass. I guess it's fine to do it like this. Leave Nib on field so that way our Warlords just sticks even harder. And we have Nightmare Pain up so they have to attack Phantom of U-Bell. So yeah, I was going to say it's not like they can out Desiree. Uh, they draw Original. 
and then we flip warlords and they instantly admit defeat yep that is fair enough to be honest there's not too much that you can do about warlords uh usually this card will just end up winning the game on spot um you have to hand trap them multiple times to like try to guarantee that warlords isn't game because even if they have warlords if they don't have any working engine then they're not doing anything uh, so you have to hand trap them a bunch to try to make their floodgates not do anything uh, especially if you can hand trap them with bestials too because that just puts bodies on board to try to run down faster uh, but okay the match was about 39 minutes long and we do end up seeing you bell winning over the snake eye there uh, you know, maybe Snake Eye could have played it a little bit better game one, uh, but it's fine. We got to see them, you know, correct the line a little bit more game two to be able to beat Nib better, especially because once you're that far in the combo, like that's how I think about it is like, if I'm that far into combo where I pretty much have like the full end board set up, I just have to actually make it. It's like, I feel like you should just prioritize playing around Nib. Because that's like the only hand trap that's left at that point. Like if they had Bistials, they would have dropped them already on Fiendsmith. If they had Imperm, Valor, Ash, like almost all that stuff would have been used already. So it's like at that point, you may as well just like really focus on playing around Nib. And then just build your end board and then you're just good. Like you just win the game most of the time at least. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.